hey, you like my body. You can build one for you. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this one, let's talk about how you can create male anatomy. And for this, I will be starting with Z sphere because I can pose in any way possible. So I will be creating in a uh, you know already posed manner. So it will be a stick figure as you can see. And uh, from there we can uh, go about building the whole body. So uh, for ZBrush, all you need to uh, uh, keep in mind that uh, oh, make sure you have a small brush size so, because uh, it helps in maintaining the uh, you know it helps in uh, making it easily easy to edit and if you press a you can uh, go into adaptive skin and uh, preview it just press a on the keyboard uh, so that you can look how your mesh will come out and you can also change the settings if you go on the right side in under that adaptive setting you can change the setting and from there you can if you are happy with your uh, t pose or a pose or whatever pose you want to make you can go ahead and change that first start building with uh, a symmetry on so that you have a full figure stick figure with you once you are happy with that go ahead and pose it so that's what i'm doing here i'm just posing it in uh, its uh, kick pose so it's a little dynamic easier if you want to create an A pose or a T pose for a game so that is a little bit easier for this it's a dynamic pose so the muscles are not symmetrical it uh, they behave uh, differently when you are moving so that's something to keep in mind and yeah i'm just shaping it a little bit but i won't be making the full face or fingers uh, such sort of stuff they are they are out of this uh, you know time foundation so that's why i'm not focusing on that mainly all you have to keep in mind that you don't go overboard on uh, dynamesh i'm using dynamesh at this point uh, so make sure you have uh, the resolution set to low setting where you can move and uh, smooth your uh, surface easily so that is uh, you know that is one of the main thing you should you should keep in mind also make sure you follow me on instagram because i post different kind of updates there what is the upcoming project and what i'm working on what is happening so yeah that's out of the way and let's go with the video so what you need to keep in mind is to create a basic block of your character make sure the length and the landmarks from one bone to other bone is kind of fine uh, and as I said make sure you are using working on a lowest resolution possible because uh, it might feel good and once you start building on any object you will get focused on one area you will uh, you know you will create abs you will sculpt very good abs but your rest of the body will look kind of clay or muddy so avoid that make sure you have uh, an overall proportion or level going up so let's divide the character into few levels first level would your level should be to create uh, uh to convert that t pose into an actual uh, kind of okayish looking body because that should be your first goal instead of moving into details and anything else make sure you create your character uh, make your character into a human looking figure something like that that should be your main focus at this point of time because uh, if you forget to do that or if you miss on doing that you might uh, find yourself 
a very uh, you know inconsistent character and with an inconsistent body which we are totally going to avoid oh yeah that's your first level so once you do that you have a proper blocking with you ready a shape something then you go into detailing that shape by detail i mean you build up the muscle forms how the muscle flow which muscle is what this and that such kind of stuff so do you need to have a full anatomy knowledge if you are a 3d artist or a character artist no you don't need to have a full knowledge by that i mean you don't need to learn each and every muscle's name what it does how, what bones are just remember the landmarks they are the key what are the protrusions where the muscle goes in where it bends this and that some that kind of stuff i am not uh telling you to go blind on anatomy but you need not to focus on remembering the name of those uh, bones and muscles bones are fine if some of them you remember that's good for you but if you can't remember them that's also fine no need to worry about it some famous or uh, some bigger bones you should remember that femur radius or na this that pelvic pelvis so all these ribs and everything these are the bigger bones in the body that uh, that plays a big role in anatomy so these you should remember also as i said the landmarks they are very important part of your body by landmarks i mean the point of you uh, for example if you take your hand and uh, the point that you see where are the protrusions happening that is can be shoulder elbow and then one at the wrist so these protrusions you need to remember and if you remember that you will get to know about your bones on top of that you can build muscles from shoulder to elbow how many muscles are there there are two muscles on the front which we call them biceps and three muscles at the back which we call them triceps so like that you can remember this is just an example so if you remember that you will figure out your picture of what what your landmark was and from that landmark how the muscle is connecting to the other landmark that is the main thing and then your next step will be which will be the third level that should be to uh, make a proper flow of your muscle by that i mean you can't just uh, connect one two second landmark you will find that there are protrusions between landmark as well so there are multiple landmarks forming between two landmarks if you look at the hand the the shoulder is one bump and then the elbow but there is a bump in the between so that is your second level of landmark like here i am creating the triceps so such stuff you need to remember and that comes with practice with observing your references in case of anatomy make sure you collect all kind of accoches by accoches what is accoche accoche is that uh, muscle figure which half side you can see there is a muscle a half side is the skin part or sometime bone part so study that yeah spend some time into that that is very useful so yes by uh, studying that you will get an idea of how the muscle is flowing and uh, sometimes the parts of the body as well Th- which is very important make sure you collect plenty of references okay so when uh, you collect a lot of references uh, don't go in the beginning creating a full dynamic pose like i'm doing i have a certain expertise that's why i'm doing but still i am uh, you know i'm very 
cautious about doing this stuff because it scares me a little bit but it's fun so much fun uh, that's why i do it as well so i for this one i won't be doing too realistic like giving all the pores and all the last step would be that but i will leave it on to the veins i will put the veins after the muscles there will be veins as well so yeah which gives you a beauty touch of your body so if you are creating a muscular guy it's uh, better to have some veins on them so anyways yeah uh, isolating a part of the body and sculpting it is also very you know a very uh, good method of sculpting because that made you focus on one part but don't give it too much attention like i did i just quickly moved on to it once i shaped it uh, well i moved on to the other parts as well sometimes it's hard to uh manage different parts of the body when they are coming in between of your vision that's why i do isolate otherwise just to focus and keep sculpting on them i won't recommend that because that will give you inconsistency that is what we are avoiding here okay yeah for abs <sighs> what can i say so many people i have seen um, gone wrong doing abs they just do them symmetrically and too much box like biscuit like they make cookies they put palajis in abs we don't do that avoid doing that for abs uh, they are organic stuff don't make them hard surface like or too symmetrical uh, make sure your abs are asymmetrical since the beginning because that that is how it is uh, mainly and mostly uh, so yeah make them uh, asymmetric if you are doing any pose um, build some forms but then break those forms by doing uh, by going in asymmetric mode or by turning off the symmetry Oh yeah, that is there. So if you notice, I keep moving on uh, from one part to other part. So in the beginning, I was uh, planning to create a per part video, but then I had to create one part like hand or torso or leg, and finish that part from the start to the end. That I didn't want to do that, so I made a full. full length video like for choosing a full character so in that i go about how i actually do the character which is not by part by part it is by level the whole character by level your first level would be to build the basic blocks which we are doing right now and for that you will find yourself uh, using less of clay build up or clay brushes more of move brush because you would want to give uh, firstly the shapes and uh, some forms of landmarks like i'm doing here and there using clay build up or clay whatever you find fit i am using clay build up for my uh, because uh, i'm more comfortable with that you can use clay or clay build up anything you want there is not one way if you are doing sculpting there is no one way to create something there are multiple ways and you can uh, use anything any way uh, as long as it ends on the same path so when you see that your body is coming in shape that you are completing your level 1 now it's time to go to level 2 which is subdividing it or increasing the resolution of your dynamic and uh, creating it putting it a little more details building up forms of muscles and definitions the cuts the flow of muscles making it more pronounced so that it is more visible to the eyes and it also anyways depends on the kind of body you are creating for me i'm creating a pretty muscular guy because i have to show the anatomy here but uh, i also have to make it dynamic that's why it 
it might not be perfectly anatomical but as i said you don't need to have it perfect make sure the muscles and bones are on the right place in the right manner everything else just flows by creating an undergarment for him because why not it gives him some character also some integrity so for that i just masked it out extracted it and i'll remesh it fix those edges and uh, we'll get it underwear okay so i understand oh it's gonna be a huge video uh, somewhere around 35 plus minutes but uh, make sure you stick till the end because a lot of things will happen you might get to see some techniques how i finish this and yeah and i'll keep on talking in between because that's uh, i'll i'll uh, i'll tell you why an artistic point of view differs from a medical point of view if you are creating anatomy one thing i would like to mention here is please 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 uh, join the discord because you can ask anything there i will be able to answer it if it's related to anything related to zbrush or 3d art or anything uh, i can answer you there we can uh, talk about something so join discord it's free and pay this class fee by hitting the like button please hit like watch now the undies are done let's move on to the body again rotate him a couple of points <laughs> couple of times and move on to the body so now we are moving towards level 2 which as i said is uh building the muscle forms and uh, some level of details giving it some level of details we just refining the shape so that's why the level 1 comes in very handy if you don't have a proper shape you won't build upon them so if it's just a character or uh, any body or anything this level system works it works for me and it will work for you so once you have the basic block shape ready you are free to build more details on on top of them and because your blocking is fine uh, because your arm length from shoulder to the elbow and to the elbow to the wrist from wrist to the fist if these are fine then you won't have any problem in future nobody will say that your uh, your blocking or the shape looks weird your character looks a little bit weird it won't because you have the fundamentals right on the first place make sure you follow this approach so that to avoid any kind of error at any point of time nobody cares about how the pose looks but everybody have seen the bodies since uh, since the birth that's why they are uh, you know they are in their eyes Uh, they they recognize the mistakes so to avoid that if your base or your blocking is fine since the, if your level 1 is fine then they won't question you 
nobody uh, you know nobody comes and says that poor looks a uh, little bit weird your vein is not flowing not flowing properly because no one remembers that nobody cares about veins but everybody cares about the length of your arm the length of your legs so yeah make sure you remember those things that is main thing for artist and if you want to be a character artist no you don't have to choose biology for that or you don't have to do any diploma in medicals and uh, that's fine you don't have to study anatomy using some hardcore books just pick something uh, a book is fine i have a book on anatomy that called uh, anatomy for sculptors so yeah <clears throat> that i keep but uh, i don't keep it all open all the time because uh, books are books you don't you have pure at this time i would suggest you keep a book or in a kosher if you have the budget keep in a kosher with you uh, so that you have that figure in front of you all the time when you are creating any kind of anatomical figure or any body that a kosher helps any figure a physical figure always always helps so yeah that is the mean that can teach you a lot so references levels level wise uh, detailing that and uh, what is next uh, once you you are you have reached level 2 then you can move on to level 3 your level 1 was creating the basic blocking your level 2 was creating the uh, Uh, the landmarks which was um which was uh, you know bones and then muscles the connections and flows in between here and there and then your level 3 that is going into those muscular details the flow of fibers and uh, little muscles you can call them so those comes in level 3 like i'm creating here i'm creating the uh you know what is this belly button <laughs> i forgot the name belly button and uh, some muscles triceps here and there uh, some fine protrusions of uh, muscles like shoulder muscles everything i don't remember the name of those shoulder muscles i call them shoulder muscles <laughs> i call them uh, the forearm muscles uh, because it it's not important the part which is important is to that you replicate the form exactly how it should be in real life that is more important than remembering the muscles uh, but if you remember them very good for you i i, I have a hard time remembering them remembering them so i don't i avoid uh, remembering them but i know where those muscles connect and where those muscles flow that's why i i can replicate them pretty properly if you are creating any uh anatomical figure in any pose so make sure you have uh, multiple references even if you can't find that perfect pose in or in all directions how the muscles are looking make sure you research more you find multiple poses where you can find certain part of the body which is in that pose and other part of the body from other references so that way if you combine you can get your character fine but make sure you have some consistency in the reference as well because the aging does matter as well in terms of uh, when it comes to character or skin uh, aging matters but that comes in for the levels which may be level 6 or 5 uh, when we can talk about uh, adding skin on top of just muscles or pores or uh, you know folds of the skin those kind of stuff uh from this point of uh, from this point you can just keep on building the flow of the muscles uh, you can recognize your pose better you can make those muscles sharper by that give them tension if the pose is uh, if the man is kicking then the leg should be this way and if you observe your leg mid uh, air then you will see certain kind of muscle getting tensed up so that is your focus point of focus now you have built your uh, shapes you have built your uh, landmarks you have connected the muscles now change those muscle according to your need 
Hmm. Interesting, I know. So one thing you should keep in mind as well, uh, I sometimes notice that uh, if you, uh, you know, you are using clay buildup. So when you use clay buildup, the mesh comes forward, which means the mesh pulls out from the surface. So you need to keep in mind that one leg should not be too thick from the other leg. The arm, one arm should not be too thick arm, uh, too thick from the other arm. Uh, so yeah those things you should keep in mind because when you focus again if you give your full attention to one part and in this case if you move on to level 4 uh, you will find yourself completing certain parts of the body and uh, when you do that you will notice that you your uh, parts of the body or the character looks a little bit different from each other that's because you have given so much attention to just one part make sure you avoid that you still uh, distribute your focus from one part to other keep moving here and there don't finish one part fully uh, build all parts simultaneously and with the consistency that is the key watching the references i can i can create a course which uh, this body be in uh, slow motion or real time and uh, from that we can discuss about the flow as well as the diagonals like landmarks on the foot the bones on the each side of the foot they are not placed on the mirror direction they are little bit diagonal so those kind of stuff we can discuss but that can go on some other side or something else i don't know that is for future i have no plans for that for now just look at the process and uh, enjoy maybe uh, you maybe you have learned something maybe not but i hope you learned something i hope you learned the technique that i used for creating a body uh, if you have learned something make sure you hit the like because that helps me that helps this video reach more people and it will help me grow a little bit and it will motivate me as well to create such more videos such more content so i am planning uh, to create a full course of zbrush in hindi as well if you are interested i have created a poll today you can not today i am not sure when this video will come up but the poll is already on, on the channel you can hit yes or no based on your shapes if you are an indian i would i i think you will say yes but anyways <clears throat> so i'm planning uh, to create more frequent videos on this channel uh, but uh, creating a full character takes time that's why i'm planning something else uh, give me some ideas give me some comments in the comment section what should i do uh, should i create some little tutorials or some techniques or just sometimes some uh, talks about the industry or uh, something about like motivation stuff or whatnot podcast like stuff not too long little videos uh, of how to remove art block time management etc etc so that i can create uh, let me know in the comments what would you like me to talk about because uh, creating characters every time it's kind of uh, time taking and not regular that's why e <laughs> hmm. so i have given it another set of subdivision uh, because I didn't want to uh, dynamish it further that uh, that made the character lose some details subdivisions works it's not properly dynamized it's again uh, subdivision on top of uh, sorry it's not properly z-remeshed it's subdivision on top of dynamish 
which is fine if you're doing a concepting work or just a practice for your anatomy that's fine because here i'm not creating this production ready character this is just a character which which is for you guys this uh i will add the decimated character in the link so that you can uh, uh, look at it and uh, view it yourself uh, i'll add an obj of this whole character body so that you can look at it so this is just for you guys that's why i have not created uh, individual fingers posed it properly it's just something where i won't be creating them at all so that's fine not the fingers from the legs as well as the arms it's okay for me you will handle it uh, or maybe the finger part will come later in some other course or tutorial so for this video your class fee will be one like or one sub Subscribe. Just hit that button if you haven't, because I will be creating a lot more videos on this channel. This is my primary channel. This is what I do. This is what I love. So show some love as well. Hit subscribe or maybe hit one like, please, if you have already subscribed. Hmm. So <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? Do not ignore the knees. The knees looks good they are the maybe the third point of focus of any character first the focus should be on the on the apps part at least that's what i see the first is apps and then the chest legs and then the knees so that's how it is because if you are creating a any kind of body even if it's fat or uh, slim or anything your first point of focus is belly how your abs are looking oof gorgeous how your belly is ooh dad bod so that is your first point of focus then other points like chest legs thighs then comes the knees but they are just right on your face that's why you have to detail them detail your knees these side parts in my case it is visible that's why i'm detailing them you have to detail all parts if you are studying anatomy as much as you can if you are on level three and level four at this point should detail everything now it's your job to detail everything not the final thing like folds veins or pores avoid them but by everything i mean the flow of muscle and the fiber of muscle as well How, what is the difference between the flow of any muscle and the fibers the flow is the connection of one muscle to other the turning bending of muscle and the fiber is the direction of that muscle that if the muscle is going from top to bottom its fiber is mainly will move from left to right so that will give you more organic feel if you sculpt in that way. Try it. You'll love it. <coughs> Shaping the fist. <coughs> so the video is a little longer. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but um, what can I say on this? Uh, it's just that uh, the main key is to just moving here and there keep moving keep bouncing from one point to other if you have created if it's asymmetrical like in my case if you are creating any body for 3d print ready or any uh, character for sculptables you might end up creating characters a little bit in asymmetry mainly and then you will find yourself sculpting twice like the fist that i'm doing but that's fine that's the fun part sculpting is the fun part so no worries there the more you practice i would recommend you uh, uh, your if you are creating your body for the second time maybe not for the first time to boost up your confidence you should create in in asymmetry but if you have created the body first time successfully in symmetry you should give it a try in asymmetry with some pose like i did not this drastic or this dynamic maybe some pose uh, standing but turned a little bit uh, model pose something like that give it some dynamic uh, not dynamic but little post asymmetric pose 
so that you will get more uh, you know uh, features of the body and sculpt them twice you will get to sculpt them twice and that way you can maintain a balance overall on the body which is also very important which anyway give you some sense of practice the more you practice in this the more you get better you know i have seen uh, i have seen character artists many artists creating the same kind of uh, characters on the same body same art style everything same 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 that's fine if you have one art style that's fine if you have one rendering style that's fine if you create one kind of stuff one kind of body one kind of character that's fine but create it yourself don't uh, don't keep it too monotonous that's boring create some uh, difference in your bodies uh, do some changes and that that's just my point of view if um i if i am a beginner i will create as much bodies as much organic and hard surface stuff as much as i could the more time i get even today any time i get free time i i <laughs> i spend them on uh, sculpting creating such artwork now i have a channel to run i have less time creating uh, personal work but i am still doing them so this is the final stage of this model which is adding veins for that i'm just using a standard brush with basic alpha uh, and making it not too straight that is one thing you need to keep in mind about veins don't make them too straight your veins should be hmm they should be zigzag something irregular so yeah now at this point of time the body is done i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed the talk that i did i talked a lot in this video i don't talk this much but i hope you liked it uh, i can improve on this a lot but for the sake of time for the sake of the length of this video i have to stop here and i will see you in the next one enjoy the render in one more second I just created a simple material, uh, a skin kind of material, and uh, decimated the body, imported in marvelous marmo set, and here is the uh, render setup. I'm going just to show the details of the body. Looks uh, cool. I can improve on it more, but uh, don't have much time on this. So. you are free to do so i will be including this body in uh, in the drive link you can download it and you can see for yourself and you can ask me some questions if you have any on discord join the discord it's the link in the description and follow me on instagram if you want to update if you want to be updated about what i do and that's it and let's see what i post next i even i don't know so that's it yeah a uh, zebra hindi series will come i guess based on words so i will see you in the next one take care and bye bye uh, i'll see you bye